Hello and welcome back to the Tied Up Video Demonstrations of Basic Physics Concepts. In this video, we discuss about physical meaning of vector addition using the concept of displacement vectors. Imagine that you are going to your favorite restaurant by driving 3 miles north from your home, then 2 miles east and then again 2 miles northeast. Using a Cartesian coordinate system, we can say that the car has moved 3j miles to point A, then 2i miles to point B and then 2 miles along a line inclined 45 degrees to the x-axis to reach the destination C. Now, what is the displacement of car from the original location? We have seen earlier that the displacement vector is difference between the position vector at final location and at the initial location. Since the initial location is at the origin, O, of the coordinates system, this will be same as the position vector OC, of point C. We can also see that vector OC, is the resultant vector, obtained by adding the displacement vectors OA, AB, and BC. In order to represent the displacement vector, we have to find the X and Y components of the vector OC. To find X component of resultant vector OC, we can add X components of displacement vectors OA, AB, and BC. To find Y components of resultant vector OC we can add Y components of the constituting vectors. Finally, we see that the X component of resultant vector OC is 3.414i and the Y component, 4.414j. Therefore the displacement vector of the car is 3.414i plus 4.414j miles. Now we can find the magnitude of displacement vector OC and its inclination to the x-axis. We use Pythagoras theorem to find the magnitude of the displacement and trigonometric relation to find the angle. Thus, you are 5.6 miles away from where you started and at an angle of 52 degrees with the positive x direction. Finally, we can show that if we displace all vectors to the origin and find the resultant of the three displacement vectors geometrically, we will get the same resultant vector OC. To add three vectors, we can add two of them using parallelogram method and then add the third vector to the resultant of the two. In summary, we can say that vectors can be added geometrically as well as analytically, it will provide the same resultant vector.